Let's take you back to 1867 when it all began. Our founders were a community of people that gathered together to solve the problems of the day and to grow the region. Early projects included encouraging improved transportation, negotiating fairer freight rates, and securing tax privileges for a new business. In 1914, offshoot organization SIDCO, the Scranton Industrial Development Company, was formed to lend financial assistance to local business and industry which was otherwise not available from banking institutions. By 1915, the city and the member base continued to grow and the chamber's work had garnered national attention from the Wall Street Journal and other national publications. In 1915, the chamber led an effort to help save international correspondence schools from closure, saving approximately 2,000 jobs in the region. The community effort became one of the pillars of the chamber policy, to assist existing and new industries during economic emergencies. This isn't the only time the community and the chamber have worked together for the region. During World War II, the chamber led a community effort to lobby Congress to bring Murray Corporation in Scranton to manufacture bomber wings for B-29 aircraft, making it the city's first major war industry. When the plant closed after the war, the chamber approached the Murray Corporation, suggesting that local support could keep the plant alive if the corporation would use it to manufacture its line of household appliances. The chamber organized member-based teams as well as women's division that went door-to-door -door soliciting funds. Approximately $1.2 million was raised, which is almost $17 million in today's dollars. This community effort launched the Scranton Lackawanna Industrial Building Company, Slipco, and it created what is considered the American Standard Model for Economic Development. It also kept many workers from losing their jobs and helped pave the way to post-war economic boom in the region. Our strong involvement with the community continues right to today. We've helped lead the community efforts to help restore the Erie Lackawanna train station, and we helped the community bring Steamtown to the region. More recently, we've played a role in helping keep both Toby Hanna Army Depot and the State Correctional Institution at Waymart open, making sure that jobs are retained and that our region maintains its superior quality of life. And our commitment to Scranton's revitalization is just as strong as our founders' original commitment to strengthening our city. We even created Leadership Lackawanna to help strengthen professionals in our region. In the past 35 years, it has graduated more than 2,000 leaders, and its projects, such as Dress for Success Lackawanna, have put an indelible stamp on our landscape. And our commitment to celebrating the community is demonstrated by our creative programs and events to help celebrate its success, like our annual gala and SAGE Awards and Empower Conference. For the past 150 years, we've done what we could for you and our community, and we intend on doing so for the next 150 years, too. Incredible advancements have happened in our region thanks to the ingenuity of our community, making our region a prime location for phenomenal ideas. Since its founding, the Chamber has been a staunch advocate of revolutionary ideas that have the potential to change the course of history. One of its earliest projects involved developing the Scranton Suburban Electric Railroad in 1886, which completely changed the region. In 1929, the Chamber advocated for the creation of the Schultzville Airport in Newton Township, near the proposed end of the New Morgan Highway, just another instance of how new developments in transportation reached the region and continued to transform the area. And always going to great lengths to support the betterment of all, in 1939, the Chamber began a novel program for young men where businesses would provide part-time work at $50 per month, 880 in today's dollars, on a half-time trainee basis to develop junior executives. This group later became the Greater Scranton JCs. In 1958, the Chamber's Highway Committee advocated for the construction of what eventually became Interstate 81. The highway brought with it several industrial parks, which helped our area establish itself as a cradle of innovative new industries. These developments helped the Lackawanna Industrial Fund Enterprises and Slipco continue with their mission of developing shell buildings to encourage more and more businesses to come to our region. In fact, Beatlemania began right here in our own backyard as the Edison Company went from buttons to Beatles when it began producing records. By the 1960s, the company had been sold to Capitol Records and its spin-off, Specialty Records, produced most of the Beatles' early 45s. The Chamber even helped develop Montage Mountain as a viable location for business in our region, which led to world-class corporations like Cigna and Prudential making a base in our backyard. But Montage isn't the only location for innovative business in our region. The Chamber has helped hundreds of forward-thinking businesses settle right here in northeastern Pennsylvania, bringing with them a diverse variety of workers that all contribute to the patchwork of people who populate this area. And since its inception, the Chamber has advocated for the development of world-class higher education in our region. In fact, we were part of the community of businesses that supported the creation of the Commonwealth Medical College, now guising our Commonwealth School of Medicine. Having that caliber of institution here helps keep young people home and helps our region position itself on the forefront of new developments in the field of medicine. 
To further sustain business growth, the Chamber created Metro Action to generate a vibrant economy and jobs in downtown Scranton, meaning more bends in the billfold. Metro Action is now the Chamber's small business lending affiliate and has helped a wide variety of companies get the capital they need to succeed. The Chamber also has a strong business incubator program that helps startup businesses get off the ground, like Net Driven and Dart Drones, which even won ABC's Shark Tank. And our ever-evolving program also helps sustain and grow businesses in our region. Our events aren't just for networking. They're a hotbed for exchanging ideas and a great place for innovation to thrive. You know our past, you know our present, but you don't know our future. Our region has evolved greatly over the past 150 years and continues to do so, thanks to our community's innovation, creativity, and talent. Because our chamber has had a role in some of our region's major innovative breakthroughs, we can say confidently that our region's story has only just begun. We will create our future through our ability to adapt to changing needs in the world. As you've seen, that's something we do quite well. We have built and expanded the vision for those who have come before us to create our own unique economic climate right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Our chamber provides the right environment for networking and interaction to help cultivate a new generation of business professionals. We prepare our children for jobs and other opportunities by linking students, teachers, and administrators with real experiences, providing them the knowledge and skills needed in today's workforce. We connect businesses with resources to provide a prepared workforce and access to lifetime learning required to thrive in today's ever-evolving business climate. We provide land, buildings, and infrastructure to grow our regional economy through creative partnerships with regional and national developers. We provide access to affordable capital for new and emerging businesses. We work with a regional network of business partners to carry the voice of our community to all arenas of public policy. And we work regionally to advance the standing of Northeastern Pennsylvania in statewide, national, and global markets. The future is right here, right now, and it's moving forward faster than you can imagine. Our future demands that the worlds of business and education establish an even greater level of symmetry. This means educational opportunities to give our youth options, regardless of what they want to do after high school. Through our programming, we're going to make sure we provide our area's young people with as many options as we can for their future, such as technical education, job-specific training, and access to affordable, degreed learning opportunities that will connect them with high-quality, family-sustaining jobs. And our promise is today, tomorrow, and for the next 150 years, we'll continue to be innovative in our approach and always put the whole community's needs first on our Chamber's list of priorities. Because without you, we have no past, present, or future.